everyone, my name is Pahal Viranja and today I am presenting here my research work and the title is Elemental Analysis of Soil from 4 Tarsils of Kolhapur District, Maharashtra, Part 1. Next. Here is the abstract. In the present geological study, we collect the soil samples from 4 Tarsils, Pannada, Shavadi, Gadi, Lutz and Chandar from Kolhapur District. And for the samples, we analyze uh, different elements. Uh, like potassium and potassium as a potassium oxide, phosphorus and phosphorus as a uh, phosphorus penta oxide, and for calcium, magnesium, and the nitrogen. Next, so here is the introduction. The study area lies under the Deccan Volcanic Province, and mostly this area, uh, this area is formed about the 65 million years ago, and this area mostly covered with the lateritic soil. Next. Material methods we used. Next, uh, here are the material methods we used that the collection of the soil samples from the four thirsts, then we listing the soil samples, then drying of soil sample, crushing and sieving for the analysis of the soil sample. Next, here is the list of this uh, study area where from we actually collected the soil sample for the elemental analysis. Next, this is also list of area. Next. So, we use the available various method for the elemental analysis. For the phosphorus analysis, for available phosphorus, we use Olson's method. Next. For the available nitrogen, we use alkaline permanganate method. Next. For the available potassium, we use neutral normal ammonium acetate. Next. For the calcium and magnesium, we use complexometric titration method, which is given by the Schwarz and Batch in 1946. Next. So what are the results and discussion from the present study? So here are the results. All the elements reported are in the present study from the, in the different minerals of a basaltic rock. And later on it found in the lateritic soil. So we have the lateritic soil and we get those minerals from uh, our uh, research. And the nitrogen mostly we get is just because of the vegetation. Next. From the acid getting glass, we have a, a Mahakav has a available potassium and potassium oxide is more than the 1200 kg per hectare. There is a very high amount of uh, available potassium is found in the Mahakav. Next. From the basin Changar, we have a potassium and potassium oxide is greater in the Shiroli and its region. Next. From Tessin Shahwadi, we have a available potassium is greater in the Barul, while the available potassium as a potassium oxide is greater in the Nui region. Next, from Panhara region, we have a available potassium and potassium oxide is greater in Parsai. From Gadi Inglas, they say we have a available phosphorus and phosphorus, uh, available phosphorus as phosphorus pentaoxide. From the available phosphorus is greater in the Mahaga, Hari Kurth, Hari Gudru, and Hasur Sasgiri. Where the available phosphorus as phosphorus pentoxide is high in Harli Gudrup and Harli Gudrup. From Tessin Chandar, we have a maximum phosphorus and phosphorus pentoxide uh, found in the Bodzurwadi. Next, from the Shavuwadi Tessin, we have a high amount of the phosphorus is found in the Nere region, Varul and Varul region, where the phosphorus as a phosphorus pentoxide is found in the Nere region. So we also uh, have the uh, Tessil Pannada, from Tessil Pannada we have the phosphorus and phosphorus pentoxide is maximum in the Kodoli region. Next, we also uh, analyze for the calcium, magnesium and the nitrogen uh, elements. From the Gadingla's Tessil we have the calcium, magnesium and nitrogen is high in the Chennai region. Next, from Chandra region we have a maximum nitrogen calcium is found in Arkul well, the maximum magnesium is found in the Shiroli region. Next. From the Shavuwadi region, we have a maximum calcium is found in the Salte and Shimpe region. While the maximum magnesium is found in the Sasega region. While the maximum nitrogen is in the Arun samples. Next. From Panwana region, we have a nitrogen is a maximum in the Kodoli. And maximum available calcium in the Salwadi. While the maximum magnesium is found in the Kekli region. Next. So here are the some references which we use for the present study. Next. So I would like to acknowledge here, the present study is the collaborative study, uh, is the part of the biodiversity, uh, biodiversity study for the People's Biodiversity Register, which is sanctioned by the Biodiversity Board, Government of Maharashtra. And we hereby 
like uh, I would like to thank the president and the member of the NGO of Anand Shaikhshani Samajik Seva Bhavi Sangstha Kalzavde Tehsil Pandara Kolabu so for the funding our work and I would like to also acknowledge the Dr. A, uh, the principal Dr. A. S. Khemlar sir for granting a permission uh, to utilize the facilities of the college. Here is the team PBR and I would like to thank my teachers and thank you.